Well, as the story goes, Gerald Ford was a newly minted candidate for the United States House of Representatives in June of 1948. And he made plans with a reporter to visit the dairy farmers in Western Michigan's congressional district, first congressional district, fifth, sorry. It was pouring rain that particular day, and neither the journalists nor the farmers had expected the upstart candidate to keep his appointment. And yet he showed up on time because he explained to the journalists, they milk cows every day, and besides that, I promised. Long before he arrived in Washington, Gerald Ford's word was good. During the three decades of public service that followed his arrival in our nation's capital, time and again, he would step forward and keep his promise, even when the dark clouds of political crisis gathered over America. After a deluded gunman, assassinated President Kennedy, our nation turned to Gerald Ford and a select handful of others to make sense of that madness. And the conspiracy theorists can say what they will, but the Warren Commission report will always have the final definitive say on this tragic matter. Uh, why? Because Jerry Ford put his name on it, and Jerry Ford's word was always good.